Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this fast hooded cape. This fast hooded cape can be made in under an hour. Its simple but elegant design makes it a versatile costume piece. For this project, you will need the following. Materials you will need. A printed out version of the free PDF pattern available on FleeceFun.com. 5 eighths a yard of fleece for the hood, plus what you want the length to be, based on a fabric that is 58 to 60 inches wide. This will be determined by the length you decide to make it. Rotary cutter, ruler, and mat. Ribbon or leather cording for the ties. Alright, once you have all those items, it's time to get started. You will need to assemble and cut out the pattern. Instructions can be found on FleeceFun.com's channel. Cut out two pieces of the hood, set aside. Next, you're going to need to do some measuring to determine the length of your cape. The length of the cape is up to you. To determine the length of your cape, measure from your collarbone to where you want the cape to fall. Note, this cape is designed to have a little rise in the front. This is to help to prevent tripping on it. So the length you measure will be at the longest point of the cape in the back. If you desire, cut off the selvage from the cloth. I confess in the pattern example, I didn't do this. Take the negative cutout and place it on the edge of the folded fabric. Make sure the part that is supposed to be on the fold is, and cut out the bottom of the cape. If you leave the selvage on like I did, the pattern will be a little short. Just continue the curve and cut up right to the edge of the fabric. Measure from the bottom of the cape to the length you desire, and cut off the top using a straight line, using your rotary cutter, ruler, and mat. All right, once you have all those pieces cut out, it's time to start sewing. Take the two hooded pieces and using a half inch seam allowance, sew them together. Then turn under the rim of the hood a half an inch and using a zigzag stitch, sew that down. All right, now that you've made the hood, it's time to attach it to the cape. Take the cape and sew a basting stitch along the top, the straight edge. Gather the cape to the length of the hood. Pin right sides together. Sew the hood onto the cape using a half inch seam allowance. You may need to go slow as you are sewing through several thick layers. Perfect, now let's add the ties. Taking the ribbon or the leather ties, make them the length you desire them to be and sew one on either side of the cape where the hood meets the cape. Trim your threads and you're finished. All right, and you're finished. You have a great cape that is the perfect length for you that works great with many different outfits. And I'll tell you a secret. The hood to this cape will also fit on the Red Riding Hood cape and vice versa. The hood on the Red Riding Hood cape will fit on this cape as well. If you like this pattern and tutorial, I have several others on my website, Fleece Fun, that I know you'll love. All my patterns and tutorials are free. Also, be sure to check out Fleece Fun on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Have a great day, and remember, velvet is pretentious, fleece is fun.